but the great thing about my job is being able to travel around and meet you know, fascinating people all over the place and share this story with them and kind of enroll them, get them involved in, in you know, creating the picture of who we are as a species. My name is Spencer Wells and I am an explorer in residence at the National Geographic Society, director of the Genographic Project, and I am Frank H.T. Rhodes, class of 56 professor here at Cornell. The Genographic Project is a concerted scientific effort to make sense of what's really kind of a, an ancient philosophical problem. Where did we all come from? Are we all related to each other? And if so, how closely? And you know, how do we generate the patterns of diversity we see around the world? And we're using the tools of modern molecular genetics to try and get the answers to those questions. What we as geneticists can add to the debate about human origins and diversity patterns is the who, the where, and the when. It's basically all we can say genetically, but the how and the why, we have to draw on other areas of expertise like archaeology, anthropology, linguistics, and so I think it gives me perhaps a better insight into these other areas, being able to do all of this traveling. How did you make the transformation from kind of strictly intellectual to intellectual and adventure? Well, it, God, the, the adventure stuff, I think it's just it's the nature of the work I do. You, mm -hmm. you have to get out in the field. You have to work with people in very remote locations, difficult to get to sometimes. And, uh, you know, that can take you to places like Chukotka in the Russian Far East, riding on an ex-Soviet tank in <laughs> minus 70 degree temperatures, um, or out to the worst part of the Sahara Desert in northern Chad on the Libyan border, surrounded by minefields. Um, but it's all about going out and working with these indigenous communities wherever they may live. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the adventure is fun. I enjoy it. Sometimes I don't enjoy it, but overall I think it's, it's an amazing thing to be able to do. Um, but it's driven by a need to, to work with these communities. Um, and what advice do you have for young scientists who kind of want to follow a similar path? Um, well, it sounds a little cliched, but follow your passions, mm -hmm. obviously. Figure out what it is that really excites you intellectually, what keeps you curious, what keeps you driven. Um, because it's not easy to pursue a research career, to be a scientist. There are going to be a lot of problems that you will encounter along the way, um, funding problems in some cases, uh, the slog to finish your PhD thesis work and then write it up and then defend it, um, finding jobs and so on. So you really have to be passionate about what it is you're doing. You're also going to be better at whatever it is um, if you're passionate about it, if you're not just choosing a field because it happens to be the hot field of the week. Um, and then by the time you finish your degree, you know, suddenly it's moved on to something else. You're going to make a contribution in something that you, you feel really strongly about.